What's going on, guys? Bruce Matson here, your show, Metro Scout Fantasy Football. And preseason is here. We got some games going on. And today we're going to recap the performance of Jalen Warren running back from the Pittsburgh Steelers in his game against the Seattle Seahawks. Ran the ball like six times for 34 yards. But in the clips, I think we got some gold here. I think we got some gold. So we're going to go over his touches. Again, due to YouTube and stuff, i got to run it a certain way. So that's why I'm going frame by frame here instead of my usual with my training camp highlights, just running a play and just giving you some talking over it. But here, we're going to go frame by frame and just look at what's going on. So here he's in the backfield getting the carry. We're in the second quarter and approaching. Well, got ahead of ourselves here. Approaching the line of scrimmage. And we see a little, little lane up there in the middle. You see the line here getting their leverage, moving the defense towards the sideline. Looks like he's going to hit that hole right up here and smash forward. So right there, boom, hits it right up in the running lane. This one kind of goes kind of quick. Back to the next play. Single back formation here. Jalen Warren in the backfield. Gets the handoff. Quick step here, reading the play here. You got leverage from your line right in front of them. You could really make a case that you can kick it both ways. 53 could peel off. That That's the danger. You got a guy coming in. It looks like he kicks it up forward. And now we can read the back of 71, but the guy's peeling off of him. So steps forward here. Looks like we're going to get crowd up. But look at that power. Look at that power getting those extra yards here and just not going down. So we got a little bit of extra out of him on this play. Right here, gets low, gets met up. Look at him, jets down. Look how low he is. He's like hip high on, on dude right here and moves forward. He's kind of like at a horizontal angle here. Makes him tougher to tackle. And absorbing the blows and being able to move forward, which is always good to see from your running backs. Next play here, um, in the backfield with a shotgun. Looks like four, three wide receivers or so. But coming out, getting ready to run a route. Comes out. Look at all this space we got here. We got a linebacker coming in. We got some zone. Boom, hits him. Linebacker's coming in to close the gap. Is he going to break through? Yep. Here we go. Nine's coming in. What's going to happen here? Comes out. Nine's coming in, hitting him almost flush, or at least from what we're seeing from the still shot. Boom. Bounces off. Bam, bam. Gets through and gets you a little bit of extra. So that's a damn good play there by Jalen Warren. Let's go back here. So here, right here, ball comes his way. And it's his ability to make something out of nothing, make this guy miss. So it's right here. My scroll is kind of weird on this one. So, bam, rolls out, rolls out, absorbs contact, good. He gets low, good, has a good base. He absorbs contact really well, excellent contact balance. Able to tough out this, this blow here. Then, bam, hits him with the dead leg. Guys broken down, scoots by him. I mean, you got to come harder than that at Warren. He's just going to run through that. And then, bam, eventually gets tackled up, but he's moving forward. Good play there by Jalen Warren. like that. like that a lot. Let's scroll past so you two don't smack me in the face. So next play here, we are in, where are we at here? 14-3, and we're just going to run this guy. What's the down distance? That's important here. Second and 10. Let's go ahead and scroll this up. So here we go. We're getting the handoff. Approach the line of scrimmage. So we got a little lane coming there. We have 71 right up top here. Looks like we're getting the leverage. We have some linemen reaching out here. Hits the hole pretty good. I mean, it's pretty wide. We have a linebacker. What is that? He's, is he scraping? What's going on? What happened with that? So we got the linebacker. Get through. Get by 53 right here. While Warren's got the ball. It doesn't matter. Plows through him. Plows through him. Looks good. Goes forward. And now let's see how many yards he can get. 42, falls off, bam. Looking good. Let's go back slower on this play right here. 
So Warren gets the ball approaching the line. We got the alleyway, which is cool. And then the linebacker here scrapes past 53 here, tries to make the play, bounces right off of him. Bounces right off the tackle. Look at that. And then we're back moving up field. We're back doing the dirty work. We're back getting it done. We're back just trying to get as much yardage as possible. Now they're in pursuit. 42 tries to get some. Falls on his face. 56 corrals. Let's look at this point of contact right up here. So we're coming up here. Point of contact. 27 lowers the shoulder. Hits him. Still moving forward. Didn't get knocked back. I mean, Jalen Warren's a dog. He's got a lot of dog in him. So here we go. We're getting the handoff here. Approaching line of scrimmage. 42's trying to come up. He knows if he goes straight, he can blow by him, which he does. Now we're reading the hats. We're just reading the, the leverage of the line here. 77 out in front. Looks like he's got a good handle, so he should be kicking this out. Nope. We go straight. However, let's read the momentum of the play of what's going on here. So straight, we're already moving forward because we had to jet past 42. 50 coming out, or 90, 90, whatever he is. And then, wait a second, 44 comes past 53, comes in, meets him head on. Uh, you wouldn't have had the time to really kick that out without quick 44 was coming in. You had to drop that shoulder, pop it down. You could have tried it, but look at that. Bam! You got to come right at it, Warren. You got to come right at the dude. Look at this. Look at this. You got to make that tackle. You got to make that tackle. A guy like Warren's going to plow through that. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. That's nasty. You don't see many running backs do that. A lot of high-level guys in the NFL, but not all the running backs are doing this. Not all the running backs are doing this. Bam. Gets through there, but that's a damn good play right there. Let's move back to that. That is sexy as hell. Like, I forgot what happened on this play because I kind of looked at him prior when I was putting this together. But, man, I was going here. You're like, man, expecting him to be dead to rights right here. Expecting this to be over. Expecting him to get the tackle. 90 maybe pile up on him. So, so here we go. You got the ankle. Nah. No. Warren's going to run through that. So let's go back to what I was saying prior to where maybe we could have kicked it out. Again, you have to think about players' momentum, then moving forward. So you think you see this alleyway and you can be able to just kick it out so easy and stuff. He's moving forward. Also, too, you see him come at you in the hole. You're going to get yourself right. You're going to get them shoulders down. That's what he's doing. Does that, embraces the combat contact, hits the hole. Looking good. Warren. Solid. Let's move on to that next play here. Single back formation. Second and goal. We're what? Nine yard line or something like that? Eight, seven, whatever. Whatever. We got some distance there. Going to get the ball here. Hand off. Approaching the line of scrimmage. So I see a little, a little seal over here by 89. Also a chance to kick it out if you feel like that the end's not going to peel off. Read that. We're going to take that straight up, right? I'm going to take that straight up. Move the pile. Look at that. Right there. I, it's hard to tell, tell what's going on here. We're a little blurry. But look at that. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Comes out. Comes out the other end. That's him getting low. That's him being tenacious. That's him just being powerful. Like, not. I mean, that's not an everyday thing. You see a guy just plow right through that. So here, right here. Where is it? Where is he? Where is he? There's a little crease in there, but... It's a little crease that I'm not seeing. That I mean, it's a blurry shot, anyways. But look at that. There's his head right there. Comes right on out. Just, just a tenacious running back. Finds the hole. Works hard. Single back again. 17, 10 down distance. Is what's really important. First and ten. Here we go. Second quarter. Gets the handoff. Working straight. I see a few options. I got maybe two lanes. Moving on out. What's something we could have done here? Sometimes you want to look at that. If you kick it out this way on, on the south side of this play, one thing you got to worry about is the guys peeling off. You got to look at the leverage of the lineman, but he could also do that as well. Kick that out that way. We have doubles on this dude. Um, the DB back here getting blocked. I do not know what's past the numbers here, what he saw. Um, looking through here, you do have two options though. You can follow 71's outside shoulder. Or kick it inside and see if you can make 98 miss and kick it up. Let's see what he does here. Goes straight. 98's there. Whoop. 
spins out. Chose to make the dude miss, and he did it. He did it. Goes forward, regains some balance, keeps moving forward, turns into like a nine-yard gain. I can't really say that he made the bad choice there because he made it happen. He's like, I can make this dude miss. I'm confident in myself. And when he makes the decision, he makes it. That's the thing. It's not like, oh, shit, 98's here. I'm going to stutter step. It's like, okay, 98's here. Let's make it happen. I'm going to spin out and get through him and get past him. That's what's going to happen. Something comes his way. He's like, all right, I'm going to deal with it. I'm going to do it. That's what happens. There's no stutter stepping. There's no, oh, let's make, change decisions. It's like, I made a decision. This is happening. This is what I'm going to do type deal. This is why I like Warren because he's an assertive runner. This is one of the reasons why he's able to make these guys miss or get through him so easy because he's assertive. He makes a decision and he goes downhill and he'll die with that decision and do his play. And that's what we saw there on that play. He had multiple options on that one. He chose what he wanted to do, and he maximized it. And that's something that you don't see from all running backs, no matter what level. Here we go. So he's out here in the slot, off ball, off top. So coming off a little out. Not quick out, quick speed out. Just trying to get out there, trying to get out in the space. We got 50 here. 50 might be getting picked off by the wide receiver. This might be designed. Nope, nope. But he's going to um, wheel off his router to pick off the DB. Ball comes out here. Boom, right here. 50's here. We're going to make a miss. Looks like we're going to. We're going to hit him with the dead leg, and 50's leverage is headed towards that sideline. Should make a miss. Go forward. 50 regains himself on the play, and we're tackled up. That's a wrap. But again, one thing to note, especially if you're playing fantasy or if you're a Steelers fan, this guy's getting usage in the passing game. Bigger running backs. This guy's thick. He's team thick. High percentage B BMI, like 80-some percentile among all running back prospects. Thicker running backs, catching balls out of the backfield. Something you want to be interested in. Thick running backs who catch the ball out of the backfield or something you want to be interested in, especially for fantasy, dynasty, whatever. I get it. UDFA, lower end prospect, but think about it this way. He's getting run with the first team right now. He's getting snaps. He's looking good in highlights. He's looking good in camp, good reports. We're getting good plays out of him in his first preseason game, making things happen, looking good. The guy you wanna, you're going to want to think about, thick dude who will carry it between the tackles. We're already seeing it here, and we're seeing him get some check downs Get some passes out of the backfield. We saw, what, two or three already. So that's some good stuff you want to see, especially if you want to spend a late-round pick or throw some draft capital at this guy if you want to give him in Dynasty Fantasy Football. So here we go. We got the touch here. Looking at the leverage of the line, um, a few things that we could do here, it looks like. Bam, cuts it up. Cuts it up, and the D-line's peeling off. They latch on. In the play, there's really not much to make out of here because really, once you get here, I mean, you could make the case you could cut it up here, but we got guys peeling. There's not much going on. His leverage is moving forward. He can't cut it into this hole because uh, that the end's leverage is moving northbound. You could plant and try to cut out down south. I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. I think for him, he likes to be assertive. He likes to get downhill. That's just what you're going to get out of him. You're not going to get Barry Sander-esque moves out of him. You're going to get a bowling ball that's ready to take on contact, that's ready to move forward and get you what you need. And he's moving forward, getting you yards. Those guys touched him up there. They touched him up right there. And watch him move forward right here. Boom, boom, boom. Still moving forward. Pop, pop, pop. Like a bowling ball, like a pinball machine. And you can't ask for much more out of your running back. Here we go. We're in the backfield right here. 17-7. Um, second and eight. I'm getting ready to score or whatever. Comes out here in the flat. Ball's coming his way. Now we got 50 out here. One-on-one -on -one situation. Let's see what happens. Just scoots by him. Scoots by him. Not bad. Not bad at all. Scoots by him. Get, gets a little, little dusted on the ankles there. And stretches out for the pylon, just misses, but man, that's a good game. Again, using the passing game, getting the check down, making a little bit of something happen after the catch. That's all you can ask for him. That's all you can ask for him. He's tough to tackle. He's assertive. 
assertiveness is good, and he's getting you some plays. Yards after contact, yards after the catch, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Single back formation right now. This might be our last play. Boom. Handoff, handoff, handoff. Play action. And we got two guys scraping off. We got guys running their routes out up here. Here we go. We're in the flat right out here, right there. He lofts the ball right over the defense. Catches the ball. Did we get in? Did we get in? Nice catch there. Nice catch there by Jalen Warren. Look at that. Extend out overhead. Overhead with a linebacker coming down. Just brings it in. Nice catch. What I said about his highlights on the last video was that I like that he was getting plays where he's getting the opportunity to catch the ball in the backfield. We saw him catch some passes here today. We saw him catch some passes in the flat. Get some opportunity to get the ball in space. Make some plays happen. Then we saw him be a banger back. We saw him bang things up between the tackles. Get those yards after contact. We saw some fluidity in his movement for a UDFA guy, for a guy who wasn't really on the radar for many people. Jalen Warren has taken the bull by the horns, and he's running with it. Steelers fans, you guys got to be excited to have this guy on your depth chart. You guys should be rooting for this guy because he's working hard. He's taking advantage of all his opportunities and playing well. And there's some upside here, especially if something happens to Najee. You got a guy here that you're going to be interested to see what he can do. So you always want that good insurance policy. Dynasty fantasy football, a cheap prospect that you can put some chips on. He's a guy that is increasing in value by the day. I see more tweets about him every day. More tweets about him every day in the fantasy football circles. It's it's just brewing. It's brewing. It's coming along. More people are talking about him. The more people are talking him up, you're going to hear more people talk about him. So you may want to look into Jalen Warren if you play fantasy football. Redraft, he's going to sit on your waiver wires unless something happens to Najee Harris. And we see him get more touches. That's what's going to happen. But Dynasty, a lot of people are talking him up. A lot of people are putting their chips in on him trading for him, trade, tra trading some assets for him and whatever. You may want to look into him. You may want to think about that, especially if you're doing rookie drafts. There's some rookie drafts that are still going on, but if you want to trade for somebody, you're looking to wheel a deal or get somebody off the waiver wire, if there's a spot, not all you guys are going to have spots on your team, you may want to look for that. If you have an extra spot you want to mess around with, this is a guy you want to look at just in case he gets an opportunity, gets more run, or... Just through the word of mouth and people talking gives you a good return on investment that you can just trade them away and get a, a pick for for next year or something. Whatever it is, just explore it, see what happens, kick the tires. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you like Jalen Warren? Are you a Steelers fan? Are you excited? Just let me know. Smash that like button. Helps the video out on the algorithm. And then if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be coming at you with a lot of content. Jalen Warren, friend of the show, going to have vids up on him all season long as long as he's on the field. But I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.